Hello viewers, welcome back. This is the part 2 of MATLAB basics. In this class, we are going to see solving equations, mat vectors and matrices and how to solve that equations and so on. So let's start with solving equations. Like in the previous class, we have seen how to solve equation x square minus 2xy plus y square. So this we have seen how to write this one, how to find error in this one, how to determine x and y and with the help of x and y how to find the required answer. But in this one we are going to solve this equation like x square minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. So we are going to solve this equation in MATLAB. Okay, to write this one, we should write first solve, bracket, single quote, square minus 2 star x minus 4 equals 0. Then I can close this one. After writing this equation, press enter. Here you can see you have got two answers x is equal to under root 5 plus 1 and one is equal to n other one is x is equal to 1 minus under root 5. So this is only the single equation. Now we are going to see how to solve two equation if you are given equation like x square minus y equals 2 and y minus 2x equals 5. So these are the double equation how we should solve in MATLAB. For that one we have to write like this x comma y in square brackets equals solve. The solve command we will use here then in single quote write the equation x and here after writing this first equation you have to close this one press comma and write the second equation ok why we are using this one square bracket is two for double equations okay press enter there is a run what we will do we will first clear the x1 which is already stored here here the error is 2x for that we have to write like this This, this multiplication types error you will get here so don't get panic just identify the error and write now you can see you have got two answers one is x equal to and another is y equals to so this is how we solve double equation in MATLAB okay now as we have written here now we will see as we have solved the double equation now we will go to find out x of 1 y of 1 just to find out this one just simply write x bracket 1 press enter now whatever the answer we got here which is stored here what MATLAB will do it will take 1 and it will substitute here and you will get the answer likewise we can also find y of 1 okay so this is how we solve single equation and double equation okay so the next topic is vectors 
and matrices. We will see here how to write vectors and how to write matrices in MATLAB. This is very important in image and signal processing. So to write this one, just for example, we will start x equals, we will use square bracket 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma or we can do 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8. As you can see here, we have to write in this square bracket and we have to differentiate using comma between two digits or two numbers. Press enter. See, the z equals 2, 4, 6, 8. If you don't want to write comma between the numbers, you can write like this also. z equals 2 space 4 space 6 space 8. Then close it. Press enter. Both the answers are same. Either you can use comma here, either you can use space here between two numbers. Okay. So if you are writing this 2468, it will represent in 2468. But if you want to represent a series of digits or numbers without writing the whole number line, we can use this method just by writing x equals 1 is to 9. Here 1 is the starting point. And here is 9 where you have to end. Okay. X equals 1 is to 9. Okay. Press enter. See. It is starting from 1 and it is ending from 9. And it is different. Uh, the difference is 1 between these digits. But now you want to write the same number line having a difference of 2 between this 2 digit ok so what you will do you will write like this x y equals 1 is to 2 is to 10 press enter now you can see that it is starting from 1 and you can see the difference 3 minus 1 2 5 minus 3 2 7 minus 5 2 9 minus 7 2 the difference is 2 between this digit and it is ending at 9 and you can see it is starting from 1 and it is closing and 10 this is how you will write a series of number you can also differentiate in a decimal manner also if you want to differentiate write a series line like from 0 to 1 having an interval of 0 0.1 between them so you will write like something z equals 0 colon 0 0.1 colon 1 enter so you can see here see the difference is 0 0.1 and it is starting from 0 and it is ending at 1 this is how you will write a number line or a series of number with a difference this is the positive but if you want to write a negative number line like from 1 and starting from 0 to minus 1 with a difference of 0 0.1 between them or you can write uh, we'll take 1 or we'll take here like from 0 to minus 10 with a difference of minus 1 between them so you can write like this one z equals minus 10 colon minus 1 colon 0 enter it's showing me error why because you don't have to write minus 10 here we have to write plus 10 here no, you can see here we are start we are writing in the descending order starting from 10 and ending it's 0 okay you can also write like this one minus 2 if you want to end at n1, press 1, 10, 8, 6, 2. So this is how we are going to write in both ascending and descending order of so number line with a difference of x. Now, as you can see, 
x x is a this type of matrix and we want to convert is this one what we will do x just put x and put single quote press enter you can see here it is converted from row to column so this is how we will use to convert if any x is there just type x is single quote and enter it will convert the matrix of row into a matrix of column and now you have to find the square root of a matrix we'll just simply do one thing and we'll find using this normal way x square 2 it will show you error so what we have to do we don't we shouldn't write in this manner we should write like x dot shift 6 2 enter now you can see how it got converted the square previously x was 1 4 9 6 1 2 3 and now it got converted into square so this is how we will use to convert a matrix into a square matrix a square vector uh, now we will write a complete matrix now we will start the topic matrices previous topic vector was over we will start matrix if you want to write a matrix like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 sorry or uh, if you want to write like this just simply write a square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and after 4 you have to write semicolon and again 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 and again after it semicolon after that 9 comma 10 comma 11 comma 12 okay after that just close the square bracket and press enter so this is the matrix a and again if you don't want to write comma in between just use space like this previous command use space between them press enter again it will also be in the same matrix form okay this is how we are going to write matrix in matlab now the next topic is function what kind of functions we can write in matrices we can write square root we can write cos sin tan we can also write log exponential and a tan this type of functions we can use here we can also write pi and we can also define imaginary numbers that is i okay for example, we will write one 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 thing log see the log of exponential 3 is 3 ok, we will write one sign value sin two star pi by 3 this this will give answer 0 0.866 but if you want in degree value that is trigonometric theta value then we will write sin sym 2 star pi by 3 but writing this one we have to write in a single quote then only your answer will get so we have to close one more bracket see the answer is 3 by root 2 under root 3 by root 2 so these are the 
two answers of the same question if you want to find in a decimal manner or if you want any theta value you can write this one okay okay now we'll go to the another topic of basics matrices then next topic is inline what is inline is if you want to find our f of 1 or f of 2 just define the equation first like f of x equals to x square plus x plus 1 then in MATLAB how you have to write is f of f is equal to inline and write the equation and after writing equation put comma and again define the term so whatever term you are going to write just define x here just close it okay we will see now f equals inline you have to write this equation in a single quote Now define the term x here okay because you don't have to write again and again press enter okay so this is the f of inline function f of x equal to x square plus x plus 1 just write f of 1 the answer is 3 because what you will do here you will substitute 1 in this equation 1 square plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3 This is how we will define. So this complete the part 2 of MATLAB basics. We will see you in the next class. Please click like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.